Hello, welcome to Learning to Drum. I'm your host, Adam Tevlin, and we are in week 39, episode 36. Welcome again to the show. Last week, we reviewed the single Rata McHugh, and remember, our test goal is at 150. We also tested on your Digga Digga Dars and the Digga Digga, okay? Hopefully, you're up to that 90 beats per minute point, but if not, that's okay. We're taking it at your pace, right? We also did study number 17 at 70 beats per minute, and now we're getting into our solo number seven. But before that, it is, you can take a guess. Okay, yeah, we're gonna test on the half drags. And remember our goal is at 120 beats per minute, but we're not gonna start there, of course. We kinda start at down tempo before we get to that goal. And we're gonna do it at 110. And I'm just gonna have my quarter notes go in there and the 120 tempo goal was like that of the flams. You remember that the half drag, of course, is something like that of a flam, except you're dragging that grace note. Okay, so hopefully you're there. This shouldn't be too much problems for you. All right, there's 110. Okay, get the feel of that. Now get your right hand up so you're prepared to play. Here we go. One, two, 110. One, two, here we go. Switch, 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 just like a flam. Okay, cool. All right, now for our test tempo. And if you can't get there, of course, don't worry about it. We're taking it at your pace. And when you're ready for that tempo, then you go ahead and quiz yourself on that. Okay, a little faster, right? Here we go. One. Two for the test. One, two, here we go. Okay, all right. So if you got there, congratulations. If not, that's okay. Remember, we're taking it at your pace. So that is the test that we're gonna do today. We're gonna get into solo number seven. There's a lot to cover in that. So that's gonna be the majority of this lesson here. And I'm going to dial up my metronome to 170. Make sure my three, four time's on. And before I, I actually play this for you, I do wanna cover all these new terminologies that we have here in the solo. And you see at the top there of page 41, a repeat symbol not mentioned in the music symbols before, which is repeat previous two measures. So you remember the repeat previous measure. Well, this is kind of the same thing, except now we have two slashes, right? And then the number two above the two bars there. And that's in starting in measure 15, uh, going into measure 16. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat those previous two bars in measures 14 and 13 there, okay? So just something that we haven't talked about the music symbols. It is out there though in music, and I just want you to be prepared for that if you'd ever read it. Okay, so going on to another thing that we haven't talked about is a waltz. And what is a waltz? W-A-L-T-Z. A waltz is a piece of music, okay, like a dance. It's, it's actually a type of a dance, okay? And you've seen those maybe perhaps movies or uh, a play or something and everybody's dancing and they're kind of turning and dun 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 okay i'll spare you all that stuff but really that's what a waltz is and you know slower waltzes might be like that of an english waltz which is at about 90 beats per minute but what we're going to do is play this solo in a viennese waltz so it's a much quicker tempo that is between 150 and 180 beats per minute depending on the source right but Usually those are conducted in one instead of three, okay? Just to let you know, and what do you mean by conducting, Adam? You see me do this type of stuff, okay? And that's all it is, is conducting. So when you see that person up on the podium in front of the orchestra or concert band and they're waving their hands around and stuff, there's some actual meaning behind that. And us players really get a lot out of those gestures and how loud they want loud or soft to soft, you know, those things like that. So. We're gonna play it at 170 beats per minute, which falls within that Viennese waltz tempo there. And we also have a new tempo terminology, which is called presto. 
is a new tempo marking that's between, depending on the source, 168 to 200 beats per minute, okay? Presto is really fast, okay? And so that's what we're gonna be in that Presto range in a Viennese waltz style, if that makes sense, okay? There's some more things to notice, which is the DS Alcoda. The last solo we did DS Alfine. So here's the example. We're gonna go back to the sign, and instead of playing to the end, Fine, we're gonna be playing down to where it says Coda. So we're gonna go back up to that sign and play down to where it says Coda, that target sign, right? And then jump down to the Coda section, okay? And the featured rudiments in the solo number seven is the flam, the flam accent, single ratum EQ, single drag, and then the single drag tap. Now all that is optional, but I just thought, hey, let's have some fun, try to incorporate these rudiments. Now, the way I'm incorporating the single drag tap and the Rattam EQ is not conventional, okay? It's not conventional. As a matter of fact, Rattam EQs, let's see if I had a tempo of one and two, and here I go. Okay, those are triplet 16th notes, okay? So now in this case scenario, we have eighth notes and triplet eighth notes, but you can kind of get the idea of, hey, this is what it's like to play a drag tap or a single Rattam EQ but it's very slow, okay? So just keep that in mind. I just wanna to try to make it as fun as I can and, and incorporate Rattam EQs and single drag taps without overburdening you, okay? All right, well, I'm gonna play this at 170 so you can hear what that's gonna sound like. And I got my 170 dialed up. I'm in three, four time. Remember, I'm just gonna do the quarter notes. All right, so here I go. Okay, 170, there it is. And we start soft, right? You can just listen. Here I go. One, two, here I go. And. Coda. There it is. All right, at 170. It's really not that fast as it seems, okay? Especially if we're playing stuff like this. And I could have made this solo much more complex as far as rhythms are used, but I really kind of wanted you to get a feel of what naturally kind of happens in most of the 3-4 time music that I read. Okay, so that's really kind of what it is. And now we're going to break it down. So I'm going to slow my metronome down to 140. So let's just kind of go through the first four measures. Very self-explanatory. We're doing those single drag taps at the beginning. Da, 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 da. No big deal, right? Two, one, two, three, one, ready, play. No big deal, right? Now, the next four bars, we do some of that same stuff, right? With the single drag taps, but a little variation of measures seven and eight. All right, here we go for the next four bars. Two, two ready, and play, and duh. Okay, so there we are, the pickup to measure nine, right? That was the pickup on beat three there with the left lefts. Now we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll start at measure eight so we can get into measure nine. Very self-explanatory, and this is where we get into our first Rattam EQ there, starting on the three of measure eight, and that is at mezzo forte. So we're gonna have a dynamic change there from piano to mezzo forte. Here we go for the next eight bars. Starting on measure eight, here we go. One, two, three, one, ready, play.
two, three, one. Again. Now we're on the downbeat there of that next measure at the sign there on the downbeat of measure 17. Okay, so hopefully you're getting a grasp on this and you notice that dynamic change there. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and play the next eight bars there. One, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, three, one. Da, da, da. We'll get back into the random cues, right? Two, da, 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 da. So those are the next eight bars there, ending at measure 24. Here we go. At forte. One and three, right? Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Ready, play. Da. One, two, three. Soft. Okay, so we went on there just a little bit there. Oops, there we go. Stop it. All right, so we're now gonna go on to the next four bars there. As you can see, we have a data quarter note plus an eighth note, and then the last quarter note, remember process of elimination. If you have one quarter note left, it will be in three, four time on beat three, right? So the last note of the measure gives us a kind of clue on where it's gonna come on on the beat, right? Okay, so we got one and three, one and three, one, a two, a three, a one. Okay, it's a little tricky there, okay? We're just gonna do those four bars. You could do the beat three with me, you don't have to, okay? But just so you can see that phrase, one and three, one and three, one, a two, a three, a one. Now, how would I play those dotted A 16th figures there in measure 27, okay? So I kind of think about, if I'm playing it fast, you know, I have those 16th notes subdividing and I'm so used to it, right? But I also think about it kind of like a sneeze. And what do you do before chew and a sneeze? <gasps> right? <gasps> chew, okay? So I kind of sneeze there a little bit. Not physically, of course, but one, a two, a three, uh -uh. you kind of feel this little sneeze thing happening. One, a two, a three, a one. Okay, so I just try to make sure, again, I'm subdividing those 16th notes internally, but it's something like a sneeze. A little easy way to remember it. So we're gonna do those next four bars, starting on measure 25. Okay, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, one. Ready, play. Two. Okay, there it is. So that is, and I ended on the downbeat there of that next measure, but that is the next four bars Let's go on to the next four bars and that'll get us up to the coda sign. And what we got is just drags, right? Single drag taps. Okay, and again, those dotted eight sixteen. So let's just try those four bars. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, two. Ready and play, two, three. Three, one, two. Two, three. Okay, great. Now we're going to get into that sign where it says coda, but we're not going down to the coda section just yet. Remember, we have to actually go to where it says DS Alcoda, okay? And that's in the next eight bars. So we're going to do these next eight bars here from the coda sign to the DS Alcoda, okay? And from there, we would go back to the sign. So let's just try the next eight bars there at Mezzo Forte, single drag taps. One, two, three, two, two. Three, ready and play two three mm. One. no big deal okay that was pretty easy all right and at this point we would go back up to the sign and we would play all the way down to where we see that coda sign where we started from just a minute ago okay and we would go from there down to our coda section so let's go over the coda section together this should be self-explanatory. This shouldn't be too hard. Just be careful. You have to drop it down there on beat two, right? One, two, three, 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 one. Okay? So just be cognitive of that, and I think you'll do just fine. So we'll do the next eight bars there, and we get to the flams that start decrescendoing there at measure 49. We're going to stop on measure 48, so those next eight bars here. One, two, three, two. Ready and play two, three, flam accent. Three, one, two, three, flam accent, flam accent, drag. 
Okay, now we're on measure 49. This next section is very easy. In the next four bars, we're not, yeah, decrescendo all the way down to P, right? And then single drag taps again. And then we close it out with one big ratum Q. So save that crescendo into the end. So here we go for the next eight bars, all the way from measures 49 to the end. Two, three, two. Ready and play. Two, three, one. All right, we end on the left hand there, right? A little awkward maybe if you're right-handed, but that's okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and play everything at 140 beats per minute, and that's together. If you're not there yet at 140 beats per minute, I know this is fresh and new, but that's okay. You can always hit pause on this episode and come back to us when you're ready. No big deal because we are taking it at your pace, right? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do everything at 140, and I'll just dial my metronome up. Remember, we start soft, right? Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, one. Ready, play. Two, three, one. Again, one. Three. Back to the sign. Coda. One, two, three, one. Ooh, a little bit too much there at the end. That's all right. That's what's called a rim shot. Okay, we'll get into that in the next season. We're not going to talk about that this season, but yeah, I did give a little bit too much, but that's okay, right? You just keep going on and everything's just going to be perfectly imperfect. You're just going to have to accept nothing's going to be perfect. So don't give yourself such a hard time if you can't get it right off the bat, okay? That's exactly what I emphasize all throughout this season. So that's all we have for this week on learning to drum. We did solo number seven, work on that. Again, if you're not up there at the 140 beats per minute, that's okay. And of course we tested on the half drags at 120 beats per minute. And again, if you're not there at 120, that's okay. That's what this is for is to have something that you can always go back to and, and watch it again or, or pick it back up when you're ready to. Uh, but that's, that's just entirely at your pace. So thank you again for joining me on this week's episode number 36 and week 39. I'm your host, Adam Tevlin, and always remember to keep swinging those sticks.